you like to do today? Go Costco. We already went to Costco. What else would you like to do? Go shopping. Go <laughs> shopping? Me and this bump are headed to the OB this morning. We have a 36 week appointment and hopefully they give us some news <laughs> of some changes or at least a plan of action and some updates. This is the only dress that fits me right now. Well, the only, really the only article of clothing that fits me right now. So let's go, let's see if they have anything to tell us. Mama. Well, baby. Oh, Mama can't hold you. I gotta go bye bye. I gotta go to the doctor to see baby brother. Go, go, baby Eli. No, not baby Eli, baby brother. <laughs> She's just trying to pull up my dress so she can say ba see baby brother. Oh, baby. Oh, that's sweet. As usual I don't go very many places and so when I do have somewhere that I need to be there at a certain time I like don't know how to do it and I forget and I really struggle so that's uh, my predicament right now but I should get there on time we'll see um, and he had a hard time leaving me I don't know what we're gonna do about her because I really need her to be able to be left with other people only the only person that she is okay with being left with is my mom or my grandma um, and sometimes her dad but today was not that day <laughs> she was not okay with me leaving but it makes it hard because we can't go to church and leave her in the nursery she absolutely loses her mind but I want her to have fun with other kids and things like that so if you guys have any tips please let me know so, I am about to go into the OB and have my appointment. I am 36 weeks and three days today, but when you guys are seeing this, I'll be 36 weeks and four days. They said that they're supposed to check me at 36 weeks, so I'm very curious to see if I have made any progress. Last night, I had so many Braxton Hicks. It was insane. They weren't painful though, so I don't know if I have progressed. Holy cow, it's crowded. I think because of the storm, maybe? All these people are like catching up on their appointments. I don't know. The office was probably closed for like a couple weeks, or uh, not a couple weeks, but like a week. Interesting. I might be waiting here a long time. Hopefully they will check me. They're supposed to check my thyroid levels um, and do blood work. So I know that's gonna happen too. It's gonna be a really long appointment, I don't know. But I'm excited and I will update you guys when I get out. Well, that was a slightly disappointing appointment. They promised you the world and then um, they didn't do anything that they said that they were gonna do except they did check my thyroid. Um, they drew blood to check my thyroid. So. Um, they, I didn't see my normal doctor. I actually saw a different doctor. So I think that might have been part of the reason why she just didn't spend very much time with me. Um, she seemed to be in a huge hurry. They're super busy in there and I think it's probably a lot to do with the fact that the office was closed for a week. Um, so she just didn't spend a whole lot of time with me. They did test me for group B strep. Um, and she did confirm that baby was head down, which I already knew that, but it was nice just to have a doctor confirm it. So, um, I start going every week now and they will start checking my cervix next week, which I thought they were supposed to do this week and maybe my normal doctor would have done that, but this doctor did not do that, which was disappointing. I kind of wanted, I wanted them to do that to see if there was any progress. Um, 
so that is all that I have for the baby update. I am 129 pounds. I've gained 20 pounds so far, um, which is actually good <laughs> for me. I gained 34 pounds with Emmy, and so this makes me feel a little bit better that maybe baby won't be huge. When we were in Virginia, we were there for like 11 days on vacation, um, and it was a good thing because the whole hurricane situation was going on here. Um, and even though we barely even ended up getting any rain here in Charleston, there was still the whole chaos of people evacuating and stuff like that. So thankfully we were already on vacation um, and we were already out of state. But while we were there for the 11 days, I did not eat very healthy. We just had a lot of junk food available to us. We were busy and I would just grab it and eat it. So I got back and I was like, craving healthy food so I went to the grocery store yesterday and bought all kinds of healthy healthy-ish foods you would like some more strawberries okay okay I'll get you some here you go what do you say to mama you're welcome what are you doing she was trying to help herself to the strawberries um so I stocked her house full of some fruits and veggies and just healthier options. We still need to go to Costco today and get some more things like eggs. Um, but this was dinner last night. It is zucchini noodles with pesto, onion, and some cherry tomatoes. And it was delicious and we had it with chicken. So it is only 10.44 in the morning, but I'm really hungry. And I was gonna make some eggs for my breakfast slash early lunch, but we don't have them yet. So this is what I'm having for lunch, and it's super yummy. We have stuff just everywhere. Stuff that needs to be put away, unpacked, dishes done, and then our bedroom is even worse. <gasps> what are you doing? I'm playing here. You're playing with your kitchen? Mm -hmm. Are you having fun? Are you happy to be back with your toys? We need, whoa. whoa, we need to fix your little shirt because it's kind of falling down. Would you like some cheese? Here, you can have this one. There you go. Take little bites of it, okay? Good job. Yum. <laughs> what a ragamuffin. You want to put the lips on the baby? <laughs> Do you need mom to help? Your mom will put the lips. She calls this lips. I cannot stop eating. I'm just very hungry today. Um, so I had the zucchini noodles and pesto and then I had a piece of string cheese and I still am a little bit on the hungry side. So I'm gonna have an apple and peanut butter. This is like my go-to snack. I've been eating it for years and it's just so yummy. This is a gala apple. I usually like Fuji but these were on sale. And then this is um, a natural peanut butter. So when I get peanut butter, I always, always, always look at the ingredients. Let's see if it'll focus. Focus, baby, focus. And when I look at the ingredients, all I wanna see is peanuts and salt is okay. But if there's sugar or anything else in it, then I do not get it. But you don't have to get expensive peanut butter. This one is Harris Teeter's the grocery store that I shop at so it's the off brand or the store brand and it was $1.99 so you don't have to get expensive peanut butter to get good um, good for you peanut butter so I just wanted to share that. We are on our way to Costco. We need paper towels, diapers, we need to renew our Costco membership and then I want to look and see if they have any dates because dates are supposed to help get your body ready to deliver. So, that's on my grocery list. Do you need anything from Costco? We'll see if there's any like healthy food. <laughs> so we need all the healthy food we can get right now. But Costco is like the highlight of our week. When we go to Costco, it's a treat. Emerson loves it. We for some reason love it. We live an exciting life. I'm 
going to show you some of the stuff that we got from Costco. We did a little grocery haul. And then I'm also going to show you some of the stuff that we got yesterday. I wish that I had done a haul of that too because I got like just a bunch of stuff that you don't get at Costco that you get at the regular grocery store. Um, I'll show you some of those things and then I'll show you what I got from Costco. What I got was a bunch of these yogurt. Siggy's is my favorite because they don't have a whole lot of added sugar. Um, so I got a bunch of these yogurts. We also had some chicken um, last night and then we have one more for dinner tonight. I got some almond milk to make smoothies with and then this is something that's been going around. I've seen a lot of people trying it saying it was really good so I thought that I would try this. Um, I'll try it in my coffee tomorrow maybe. And then we also just got a gallon of milk for Emerson, whole milk. We had gotten some cherry tomatoes, strawberries, um, grapes. And then I think the last thing that I got was some apples. So that was all like the fresh produce that I got from the grocery store yesterday. And then I got some like canned stuff. Got a loaf of bread. This is the bread that we usually get. The 15 grain is really good. So then this is the stuff we got from Costco. I got an organic baby spinach pack. This is like the cheapest way to buy spinach, honestly. At the, the regular grocery store, it's way more expensive. So this is for smoothies and salads or whatever we want to use this for. Then we also got some organic eggs. <laughs> These are kind of funny. Hi, baby. They are dates and they're supposed to ripen the cervix and kind of help labor go a little bit easier. So I'm gonna start eating I think you're supposed to have like five or six of these a day. Honestly, they kind of look gross. They look kind of like cockroaches to me. Hi, Linda. <laughs> um, and they just look a little weird. So we will see if I can even get those down. I know there's other ways I could probably eat them. Maybe in smoothies. Then we got some bananas for Emerson and snacking and smoothies. Three berry blend, raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries. They're frozen for smoothies avocados and then this is to go with dinner tonight it is we've actually never had this one mediterranean crunch chopped salad kit it's got feta cheese in it and we'll top this with some chicken and that'll be our dinner tonight and then we also got another pack of diapers emmys in size four they were actually eight dollars off which is such a good <laughs> deal so <laughs> are you being sweet Bye. Where are they going? Are your Hi. friends leaving? There Hi. you go. You're so sweet. I have a dress. You are wearing a really pretty dress. You look so cute. Bye. Can you find monkeys? You're gonna go find monkeys? Can you find the monkeys? Okay. <laughs> you are <laughs> you are really cute. Um and then we also got just a pack of paper towels. What time is it? Yeah. You ready for lunch? What do you say to mom? You're welcome. Emmy is having leftover zucchini noodles and pesto and the chicken and then some grapes. She's probably just gonna end up eating grapes, but at least at least mom tried, huh? With the veggies and the protein. What time is it? It's time for lunch. It's time for lunch. Good job. Oh we forgot to pray. Can you fold your hands? Thank you, Jesus, for our food. Amen. Amen. Okay, you eat a good lunch, and then we're going to take a nap. Emmy did not eat her lunch, as I predicted. She just ate the grapes. Oh, well. We'll try again later today. down 
for a nap and I'm going to now try and tackle this mess. All of this is clean clothes. I just have to put it away. All of that back there is, is stuff we got from the baby shower um, when we were on vacation and I am going to be doing a video showing you all of the things we got for baby boy. Um, I just need to really tackle all this. Honestly, this mess is really stressing me out. Like, really stressing me out. And all I want to do is get in that bed and relax, but I feel like my mind can't relax with all of this going on. But at the same time, I feel like I've already done enough for the day. <laughs> what time is it? It's 3.21. I feel like my body is just telling me it's time to be done. So I'm going to attempt to tune all this out, lay down for a little bit, drink some tea, and just like kind of chill. My mind's telling me keep going. My body's telling me sit your behind down. So I'm in bed. Got myself this far. I've got a cup of labor prep tea. This is my favorite tea ever. And I'm probably going to still drink it. <laughs> even after the baby is born. It's actually good to drink like for a month or so after the baby's born um, because it helps tone the uterus and it'll help, I guess, things go back to where they're supposed to be. But this is labor prep tea from Young, from young Living. <laughs> Got Young Living on the brain. Labor prep tea from Pink Stork and it's seriously the best tea ever. I've also got my computer over here and a list of things to do like a mile long but at least i can do it while horizontal this is what andrew and i are having for dinner it's just that salad that i showed you that we got from costco that salad kit and then he cooked up some chicken just in a skillet <laughs> um and topped topped it on top of the salad and it's actually really good. The dressing in this is kind of tangy. And it's really yummy. So Andrew and I are having this. And Aunt Emmy is over there. Eating ketchup and juice. We're going to go for a walk. To get the wiggles out. But we got to hurry because it's like almost dark outside. It's getting dark really early. I love it and I hate it at the same time. It's a moon. You see the moon? A cre moon. It's a crescent moon. You're right. Good job, babe. <laughs> I like crescent moon. Yeah. You, li <laughs> you like crescent moon? We just had bath. Now we're sitting on the couch, winding down with some Mickey Mouse. Andrew's getting, he's somewhere over there, getting Emmy some milk and some muffins that his mom made for Emerson. Emerson. For Emerson. And I think we're going to end it here. I am... <laughs> So tired I've just been trying to clean up the house because I feel like I need to do it before baby boy comes otherwise I'll be super stressed out so like right now I'm kind of stressed out about it but I'm pretty tired Bye -bye. so I'm gonna put her to bed and then relax a little bit myself so thank you guys for watching this first episode of baby watch Subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the um, vlogs coming up. Follow us on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch because that is where we will definitely update first if I do go into labor. So follow us on Instagram. But I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.